In this video, we're going to be multiplying decimals by decimals. Here is a calculation. 3.5 multiplied by 6.1. To work this out, we're going to do some long multiplication. It's really important to line the numbers up correctly. Initially, we ignore the decimal point and treat it as if it was a whole number. So 35 multiplied by 61. 1 times 5 is 5. Then we multiply 1 by 3 tens. 1 times 3 is 3. Next, we need to multiply 6 tens by 5. As we're multiplying by number in the tens column, we need to use zero as a placeholder in the ones column. So six times five is 30. We can carry the three below in the hundreds column. Then we multiply six tens by three tens. Six times three is 18. We need to add the three hundreds. So 18 add 3 is 21. The next step is to add the two answers together. So 5 add 0 is 5. 3 add 0 is 3. Then we have 1 in the hundreds column. And 2 in the thousands column. We need to place the decimal point in the answer. To do this, we count the number of decimal places in the factors. 3.5 has one digit after the decimal point, and 6.1 has one digit after the decimal point. Altogether, there are two digits after the decimal point in the factors. So we need to ensure that there are two digits after the decimal point in our answer. So the answer is 21.35. So let me explain what we did with the decimal points. We started with 3.5 multiplied by 6.1. We multiplied 3.5 by 10. We also multiplied 6.1 by 10. So 35 multiplied by 61 which was 2,135. As we had previously multiplied the factors by 10 and then by 10, the answer is 100 times bigger. So we need to do the inverse and divide the answer by 100, which gives us the answer 21.35. Here's another example. 2.3 multiplied by 4.04 Remember, we need to line the numbers up correctly. Initially, we ignore the decimal point and treat it as if it was a whole number. So 23 multiplied by 404 So we start with 3 times 4, which is 12. We carry the 1 below in the tens column, as it represents 110. Then we multiply 3 by 0 tens. 3 times 0 is 0. But we need to add the 110 below. So 0 add 1 is 1. Next, we need to multiply 3 by 4 hundredths. 3 times 4 is 12. Next we need to multiply two tens by four. As we're multiplying the number in the tens column, we need to use zero as a placeholder in the ones column. So two times four is eight. Next is two tens multiplied by zero tens. Two times zero is zero. Next, we multiply two tens by four hundredths. So two times four is eight. The next step is to add the two answers together. 
So 2 add 0 is 2. 1 add 8 is 9. 2 add 0 is 2. And then 1 add 8 is 9. We need to place the decimal point in the answer. To do this, we count the number of decimal places in the factors. 2.3 has one digit after the decimal point, and 4.04 .04 has two digits after the decimal point. Altogether, there are three digits after the decimal points in the factors. So we need to ensure that there are three digits after the decimal point in our answer. So the answer is 9.292. So let me explain what we did with the decimal points. We started with 2.3 multiplied by 4.04. .04. We multiplied 2.3 by 10. And we multiplied 4.04 .04 by 100. So 23 multiplied by 404 which was 9,292. As we had previously multiplied the factors by 10 and by 100, the answer is a thousand times bigger than it should be. So we need to do the inverse and divide the answer by a thousand, which gives us the answer 9.292. Now it's your turn. Here is a calculation. 5.1 multiplied by 2.3. Which of these answers is the correct answer? Let me know your answer in the comment section. Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answer. Here's another challenge. 2.7 multiplied by 3.13. Which of these answers is the correct answer? Let me know your answer in the comment section. Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answer. 1.9 multiplied by 2.105. Which of these answers is the correct answer? Let me know your answer in the comment section. Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answer.